There are two new field upgrades to unlock in DMZ, the Rebreather and the Armor Box. The Rebreather is pretty useless now they added the Scuba Mask, but you need to unlock it to get the Armor Box. I've got some super fast methods to get these unlocked, including how to find the stupid plastic explosive bricks. Now to do the fast methods, you go into need a secure bag. The easiest way to do that is to use a key on Vondel, either a skeleton key, or you can use a key from the Vondel keychain. Now I'll leave a link to the Vondel keychain down below on Reddit if you want to check that out, but what you'll need to do is to get the bridge stash key or either use the skeleton key on the bridge stash. That'll give you a gold skull and the diver crate key. Then you'll want to use that and you'll get an electric drill and the equipment crate key. Finally, that will give you another electric drill and it will also give you a guaranteed blowtorch, which you'll need later. You'll then just need to hit a gas station and then a buy station and you'll be able to do the secure bag recipe and get your butt out of Vondel. The other option, which is completely random, is to keep hitting hidden loot caches and pray that you'll find one because secure bags do spawn in there but they are pretty rare this can work if you're already hunting the loot caches anyway now to unlock the rebreather fast so you can get to the armor box you'll want to use your secure bag you just crafted and load it up with rebreathers now you can get these at the buy station by crafting them with some simple items that are easy to find for the electrical tape light bulbs gun oil and blow torches they can be found in gas stations in the little shack houses in almazra and warehouses make Make sure you search every nook and cranny including toolboxes and you should find a lot of these. Now for the GPU, still the easiest location is on Vondel and you're going to want to go to the stage bag which you can use as a key part of the Vondel keychain or use a skeleton key on the stage bag to get it. Now once you have a few of the items that you need a lot of in the secure bag, you'll want to buy a personal exfil and exfil quickly and quietly and then drop straight into a match and do it again. Every time that you drop in an exfil, it will count all the items in your secure bag and everything will carry over to the next match. Now that means once you've found a few of each item, you can just keep exfilling to basically find them all without actually having to find the item over and over again. Now the armor box is a little bit more tricky. You can still craft it at the buy station and I'd recommend stocking up on a few of those and doing the secure bag method similar to what we did with the rebreather. Now there's two easy places to check for all these items and it's gas stations plus the police academy building. Couple of runs through here and you'll have all the batteries, electronic components, drills, and screwdrivers that you'll need. Now, the hardest and most annoying part of the armor box is the plastic explosive bricks. Now, I was told Port had a lot of these in Almazra, but I hunted there for many games and never found any, so don't waste your time there. These are the actual best guaranteed locations, and they won't spawn every time, but these are the places you need to check. Number one is by Oasis in the hidden cache. Me and my teammates managed to find them here a few times, and that is definitely one of the best places that they do spawn. Another place to check is by the airport hidden caches on the runway. They do also spawn here on quite a high occasion. The other place that they spawn a lot is around strongholds. Now they don't normally spawn in the stronghold, but actually once you eliminate a bot, they have a high percent chance for them to drop one. It can be a high tier bot or a low tier bot, so make sure you check all the ground loot once you've eliminated the bots. The other place that I have found them is in Coast G Complex, again off eliminating bots. I found mine very close to the Rhino and Sniper, and it seemed to be off a tier 3 level bot. Although, even regular level bots do seem to be able to drop plastic explosive brick, even in Coast G Complex. Let me know in the comments if you've found them anywhere else. Now, if this video helped you and you want to support the channel, you could subscribe for future DMZ Call of Duty guides, or there is the Super Thanks or Membership down below and anyone who does that will get a shout out in a future video.